He is known for applying the theory of natural selection to explain the origins and nature of New Zealand's natural history. He is recognized for his prolific contributions as a geologist and biologist, becoming one of the most able and prolific 19th century naturalists in New Zealand. His name is Captain Frederick Wollaston Hutton FRS. In the world of natural history, one name stands out, Captain Frederick Wollaston Hutton, a remarkable scientist who made significant contributions to the understanding of New Zealand's unique ecosystem. Originally from England, Hutton's passion for geology and biology led him on a remarkable journey of discovery in the far-off lands of New Zealand. During his time as an army officer, Hutton delved into the world of academia, immersing himself in the study of geology and biology. His keen intellect and insatiable curiosity soon made him one of the most respected and prolific naturalists of the 19th century in New Zealand. Hutton's greatest achievement was his application of the theory of natural selection to explain the origins and nature of New Zealand's natural history. His groundbreaking work shed light on the intricate relationships between the diverse species found in the region and how they evolved over time. His discoveries not only deepened our understanding of the natural world but also paved the way for future research and conservation efforts in New Zealand and beyond. In the late 1800s, Frederick Hutton and his family embarked on a voyage from Gravesend, seeking new opportunities in New Zealand. After a long and tiresome journey, they finally arrived in Auckland in June 1866. Once settled in Auckland, Hutton took charge of the Auckland Museum, which was in need of organization and relocation. With the support of the superintendent of Auckland Province, he became the honorary curator and worked tirelessly to arrange and classify the collections. He also established a museum library and prepared exhibitions to showcase the objects. Hutton's passion for knowledge and scientific exploration led him to co-found the Auckland Philosophical Society, later renamed the Auckland Institute. This initiative aimed to establish branches throughout New Zealand and collaborate with the New Zealand Institute. The Auckland Museum was eventually transferred to the Auckland Institute in 1869. While working on geological surveys, Hutton made a significant discovery of substantial coal fields in the lower Waikato region. However, his own business venture in the flax industry proved unsuccessful, leading him to sell his assets in 1872. Hutton's career continued to flourish as he joined the Geological Survey of New Zealand and became a respected provincial geologist. He held positions as a lecturer and curator in various institutions, including the University of Otago and Canterbury College. He was also recognized for his contributions to ornithology and became the first president of the New Zealand Institute. Tragically, Hutton's life was cut short during a voyage from England in 1905. He was buried at sea off Cape Town, South Africa. Nevertheless, his legacy lives on through the Hutton Medal and Hutton Memorial Fund, which recognize scientific achievements related to New Zealand's natural history. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.